Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing with the help of my wife, Digital Amy, Hi. the Chico Bravo Quick Fold Trio system. We did get this product ourselves and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly our own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you want to check out some other Chico products, the links to this will be in the video description below. So please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. You can see it comes packaged to you in this massive retail box. They just slapped a shipping label on it and this is how it arrived at our front porch. So you can see we got nice product packaging with a quick explanation of the three-in-one system. So we can see down here, it is a three-in-one trio system. We get one key fit carrier. In this case, it's the key fit 30 infant car seat with base. They also show you that it's a travel system for that carrier. And then we have our third for the three-in-one. It's a quick fold stroller. So once your child transitions out of the carrier, you can just use it as a quick fold stroller. Now I'll let Amy talk about it for a second. I didn't pick this out. I was really glad that she spent all the time researching the best baby products for our upcoming child that's due any day now. So we can hear from her maybe why she landed on this and her thoughts about it and what she's looking forward to having this specific system. So when I started looking at car seats and stroller combos, you really, I really was looking for safety as most expected mamas are. And this system just kept coming up as one of the safest and all of the lists that I was reviewing um, had this one on here. Um, it's very highly rated on lots of different sites, not just for safety, but for comfort, for um, ease of transition from stroller to car. That's a huge thing. You, you don't want to have to be clicking in a bunch of different things. You can literally just grab and then put in. Um, I liked the colors. This is the Nottingham color. It's really neutral. We don't know if we're having a boy or a girl, so we wanted something that um, could be a boy color or a girl color, and it looks great. So I'm really excited to open it up. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, guys, let's go ahead. Let's open it up right now to look at the package content. So here are some of the package contents. As you can see, this was a huge box and I can't fit everything on frame in one shot. So first up, you can see some of the stroller parts right here. We got your four wheels your stroller installation parts. We have a customer service card right here letting you know not to return it into the store. And then we have your stroller user guide and manual right here, walking you through in step-by-step -step how to set everything up. Now let's look at some more package contents. Now you can see we got the key fit 30 right here and it's nice base. They also give us a registration card and our user guide in manual that will show you step by step how to get everything installed with charts, diagrams, and step by step instructions. Let's keep looking at the rest of the package contents. So here are the rest of the package contents. We have the remainder of the stroller. So you can see we got the Bravo folding stroller right here. Now let's go ahead and let's get this set up. So the first step to set up your stroller is to follow their instructions to unfold the stroller until you hear it click and then you can push on the base of the seat to make sure that it clicks in place. So once you do that, you're ready for the next step right here, which you can see it's, we're gonna remove any sort of packaging or plastic ends on the bottom right there. And then we're gonna install what they're calling the rear axle to the stroller. So go ahead, you'll do that. We'll just click it right in place. So now go ahead, unfold your stroller and click that in place. Now you can see we got the stroller unfolded right here. So let's go ahead, let's install that rear axle. So you're gonna take the rear axle just like we have it right here. You can see the Bravo text and font coming down this side. It should only fit on one way with how these are shaped. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna line it up and then you're just gonna push it in place till you hear it click. So let's start with this side. There's the click and there's the click at the bottom. So now we have everything installed and we're ready for the next step. Now we're ready to install the rear wheels on each side of the axle. So take note how they have the wheels going on. So you can see that piece is gonna go right in. Then we're gonna use one of the two included washers, one for each side to put it right through there. So let's go ahead and let's do that right now. So here we go, you can see we're at the rear axle right now. Pay attention to how we have it. 
just slide it right on like you see right here. And then you're gonna put your washer in place. We're ready for the next step now. So you can see in the manual right here, we're ready to attach the pin that we have, one for each back wheel. So go ahead, follow how they have it right there. You're just gonna slide it through on one side to lock the wheel in place. So I can see where the pin's gonna slide through. I can see it right there. So let's go ahead, since I have that hole in sight, push that pin in and it should just go in just like that. It just snapped in place. And now the wheel is successfully installed and you can repeat that step for the other side. Now that we just completed those steps by inserting the pins in the wheels, we're left with two hubcaps to insert right there where we just put the pins in. So let's go ahead, let's do that step right now. So just take the plastic hubcap on the wheels right there. You can see how it's gonna clip right in. So there's four of these tabs, one for each corner right there. Just push it in place like that. And now repeat that step on the other side for the other wheel. Now we're ready to install the front wheels, guys. This installation is gonna be very simple. We're just gonna push them in place until we hear a click. So go ahead, take the wheel that you wanna install first, line it up right there, and just push it in place until you hear it click, just like we did right there. Now we can take the other wheel, do the same thing further down, just push it right in, and you'll hear it click. There we go, it just clicked in place, and now we have both front wheels installed. So check it out guys, our stroller has four wheels now and it looks really cool already. The next step in the installation guide is to go over the handle up here. We can actually adjust this to three different positions. Here's the first position, then just push in on both sides and then you can tip it up until it snaps in place for the second position. And then we can do that one more time. There's the third position for the adjustable handle up top. Now the last step we have to install is gonna be the child's tray. So let's go ahead, let's do that right now. So to install the child's tray, you can see very simple, it just clicks in place. And then to remove it, there's buttons on the side that we can press to remove the tray. So you can see we got the child's tray lined up right here. Just go ahead, gently push it in on both sides so you can see it just snaps right in place. And then if you want to remove the tray, you can see we have buttons right here to push on both sides and then pull it back out. So we went ahead too and already snapped on the canopy cover right here. Just pay special attention to where you install it down here on the side frame. There's actually two holes already cut out in the plastic piece that snaps on. So you know exactly where it goes and that helps keep it in place. And now we're ready to use the canopy cover if we want. And there's a zipper that runs along the back side right here that you can zip up if you want, or you could leave that unzipped. But there's a nice mesh screen on the back side too, so you'll be able to see in and watch your child. So if you're ready now to fold up the stroller, go ahead, lift up this flap. Then you just need to slide this lever and pull up the handle. And now keep pulling up the handle and you'll see the whole stroller just collapses in on itself. And there we go, guys, it's that simple. Now we have the stroller all collapsed, really easy to travel and move with. If you want to set up the stroller again, just go ahead, repeat that process in the reverse order. You can just pull up on the side and push the handle down until it clicks in place. And now the stroller's ready to be used again. So to attach the carrier to the stroller, keep the child's cup holder attachment installed and in place. Then take the carrier. Your child's gonna be facing you when you push the stroller, so it only fits one way. And just kind of set it right here in place, and then it will clip right in like that. So you can see it's clipped in now. It's not gonna come loose or go anywhere until we release it right here with that orange lever. So grab the orange lever and then it slides right back out. So now we're gonna look at the Key Fit 30. You can see my wife went ahead and already put a stuffed animal in there like it's our baby, which is awesome. That cracks me up and it looks really good. I'm really excited to be using this carrier. Then you can see we got our base right here that we're gonna install in our vehicle. So we're gonna walk you through that in this video. We're gonna be doing the latch installation method because that's what we have for our car. But they also have in their instruction guide and right here, they let you know that there's lap belt installation methods and a lap shoulder belt installation method depending on your vehicle and the seats that you have. We have nice built-in levels on both sides so it's very easy to see. This will just click right in place and that's it. So once we get the base installed correctly, 
this will just come click in and click out when we want to use it so that's really nice if you need help installing this be sure to go ahead check out local community resources in case there's a fire station police station something nearby with your local government to help you get this installed correctly now let's go ahead let's install the base in our car so with the base in the car now we're ready to release the latches go ahead lift to release to put any extra slack back through there so we can pull them out of their built-in storage compartments like you see right here now on your car seat identify the matching logo that looks like a kid sitting on a seat and that's where we're going to actually plug the latches into so go ahead make sure they're not wound funny or anything that everything's flush and then under the seat you'll see the metal bar that we need to connect these to just push them in place until you hear them click in so now we need to do it on the other side just a metal bar again guys they click right in now we need to start pulling that tight make sure at this step too that your seat is level you can adjust that right here before you pull it too tight to make sure that the air bubble is in between both arrows on your car when you're pulling this tight make sure to apply a lot of downward pressure and continue to pull it tight i'm actually going to go ahead i'm going to climb in we're going to use my knee and we're going to keep pulling that really really tight and applying a lot of downward pressure now with the extra slack right here wind it up and use the built-in strap storage compartment tuck that away now let's check it and see so you shouldn't have more than one inch of movement between the back and side to side so you can see it's really secure and in place it's not going to wiggle or move around and now we're ready to attach our carrier the carrier only goes one way and it just clicks right in place now you can check to make sure that everything is safe and secure with the base make sure your child is facing towards the seat's headrest and not towards the driver's seat and then when you want to uninstall it go ahead you can just lift up the lever and it comes right out be sure to check your base before each use so now that we got everything set up amy's had some time to look it over and play around with it as you saw earlier in the video we got the stuffed animal installed in the carrier for us what do you think about it hon are you happy with it is it what you thought it would be when you were looking at it online yeah it looks exactly the way that i thought it was going to look from the pictures online so i'm really pleased with the overall look of it pushing it around the house. It's really smooth. It turns nicely. I can't wait to get it outside, go on the sidewalk with the baby and enjoy some fresh air. Um, I love all the little features, the double cup holder, storage for your phone or your wallet, child's tray. Everything is just really easy to use. The adjustable bar right here, they make it really simple. And David was showing me how to click in the car seat really easy. There That's we go. It. it snaps right in. You get that awesome. click noise so you know that it's in. It can't come out. It's not going anywhere until you release it with the lever right there. And then you can take it right back out. Yeah. And I also liked how you were showing me how easy it is to fold up. And then it's really lightweight for when you need to put the stroller into your trunk or move it around. Super easy. Yeah. Yep, got good storage down here. And I like the brakes really easy to use as well. So I'm really happy. I love it. Well, that's great to hear. We're super excited. So we're both impressed with it so far. Now we're just waiting on the baby to really break it in. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us and subscribe to our channel? We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.